Hello everyone, all who are in one body of Christ. Our Savior welcomes you to this day, Lord has given us together. Today, meditating upon. Wisdom is like modern art, difficult to understand, but absolute truth. Proverbs chapter 10 to 12. The book of Proverbs is an interesting book, and from chapters 10 to 29, you might feel lost. You might feel that you are reading a long list of disjointed bits of wisdom, just like modern art, colors are randomly splattered on a whole canvas. Very difficult to understand, to make a connection. The list moves quickly from talking about obedient children to financial management, moves to the importance of a decent work ethic, and then immediately turns to the inner disposition of wise people. It can feel like a messy painting, but that's part of the point of sharing wisdom. Solomon intentionally used his wisdom scatters form. In it, fits and starts in his sayings to show how pursuits of wisdom work. We gain wisdom in painful events, business seminars, parenting moments, conversation with friends, watching people, and yes, the best. We receive wisdom when we open our Bibles. Bit by bit, slowly, we learn to live wisely in the world, instead of being frustrated at the lack of cohesion. Solomon asks us to accept the way wisdom works and lean from, learn from his experience with it. There is an internal logic and a creator design that runs through every human interaction, every type of work, and every day sunset. God created the world and people with wisdom. By including the seemingly secular bits of wisdom, Solomon is showing us that there is nothing secular. Everything we see or experience points back to God. Reading from chapters 10 to 12 doesn't seem like Proverbs. They give us the feeling of receiving absolute promises or dealing with the ultimate consequences. Proverbs chapter 12 to 21 to verse 21 shows that all people will be punished and all righteous people will be delivered. It's very tempting to read this as an absolute promise, but in reality, this section is not making any promises. It is providing us the wisdom. Solomon is describing how things happen in this world, but also explaining with the warning that is not how it works every time. As a matter of fact, Proverbs 13.23 tells us that injustice often prevents the righteous from getting what should come to them. The Proverbs are only provisional to true now, but that's not to say they won't be absolutely true in the future. And it's here that we most clearly see Jesus. In Jesus' death, ascension, and promised return, we have an absolute promise that the foolish will be punished and the wise will be delivered. All the good things we hope to be true will be true. Since God did not spare his own son, we are guaranteed that the wise in Christ will one day be given all things. And if that guaranteed day is coming, no action on earth is securely disjointed or random. Everything matters because matter at the time were created by God. Jesus is coming to right all wrongs and bring every wise and foolish deed into judgment. Nothing is disconnected, no injustice is overlooked, and no wise moment is forgotten. At Jesus' return, his wisdom will reveal that nothing in your life is random. No moment was disjointed from his purpose, and all things that should be true will absolutely be true forever. This message was gives a promise today. The promise is... But in that coming day, no weapon turned against you would succeed. You will silence every voice raised up to you to accuse you. These benefits are joined, enjoyed by the servants of the Lord. Their vindication will come from me. I, the Lord, have spoken. Let's close time in prayer together. Please show me this prayer. Dear Lord, Heavenly Father, mighty, wonderful God, Lord, thank you that there is nothing in the physical or spiritual realm that can triumph over me, and that I am secure in Christ, and every accusation of the enemy will be condemned. Help me to fear those that seek to harm me in word or deed, but help me to be faithful witness of your steadfast grace in the place where you have put me. In Jesus' holy name I pray, amen. Have a blessed day, and if God's going to talk to you tomorrow.